Hi, I'm Dr. John McCallick. I'm an assistant professor of accountancy at University College Dublin. I published a book on introductory financial accounting using IFRS that you can download at the link below. This playlist of videos explains all the important concepts and techniques that are in the book and that you will need to prepare basic financial statements. I've included a, a link to the uh, playlist of videos uh, below as well. Please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you found this content helpful. This video is about the acquisition and disposal of uh, non-current assets. So when we acquire an asset, this is quite straightforward. We debit the cost of the asset to um, the asset account. So we create an asset in the statement of financial position and we reduce the bank or increase uh, some kind of accrual um, or liability for the uh, as for the uh, amount that we owe for the asset. So supposing we buy a car for 35,000, we are going to debit the cost of the car and credit bank uh, 35,000. And that establishes the car asset on the balance sheet and that's all we need to do uh, when we acquire an asset initially. Now disposal of assets, uh, that's a lot trickier because after a while, an asset is going to have accumulated depreciation against it. Its net book value is going to have gone down. And what we have to do is compare what's on the balance sheet, the net book value, with what we got for the asset and work out whether we made a profit or loss on disposing of the asset. And we have to do certain entries to sort all this out. So the steps in disposing of an asset are to one, remove the cost of the asset from the statement of financial position. Secondly, remove, remove the accumulated depreciation from the statement of financial position. So we need to get the asset off the balance sheet. We record the proceeds that have been received for the asset. So if somebody's paid us in cash for the asset, that we can increase the bank, that's debit the bank, and uh, we need to record the proceeds that have been received uh, uh, for the asset. And we use a special disposal account to uh, do all these debits and credits. Uh, and we also need to work out the profit or loss on the disposal and transfer that amount to the income statement. So supposing the car that we looked at in the previous video, you know, at the end of year three, the net book value of the car is 24,200. And supposing we sell it for 25,000. Well, its value on the balance sheet is 24,200. We're selling it for 25,000. We immediately know here that there is a profit, a profit of 800, okay? Now the question is, how do we deal with all of this? How do we get it off the balance sheet? How do we get the profit into the income statement? And uh, also we will need to make sure the proceeds go into the bank in order to balance all the accounts off. So our first entry is to reduce the cost of car asset and transfer that amount to a special disposal account that we set up for this purpose. So the special disposal account will gather together all the things that have to do with the disposal of this asset. So we debit the disposal account and we credit the cost of car 35,000. Secondly, we remove the accumulated depreciation from the statement of financial position. So the accumulated uh, depreciation is generally a credit balance, as we saw from the last video, where we uh, recorded depreciation by debiting depreciation expense and crediting accumulated depreciation. So to 
um, reduce accumulated depreciation to zero, we need to debit that account. So we debit accumulated depreciation with 10,800, which is three years of depreciation on the asset, three times 3,600. And again, we credit the special disposal account with 10,800. And the third thing we need to do is record the proceeds that have been received for the asset. In some cases, we get nothing for the asset. It's been scrapped. But in some cases, we do get something for the asset. We sell it off secondhand and we get something for it. So we have to record these proceeds by debiting the bank 25,000 and crediting disposal account 25,000. So we have now gathered together all the entries we need in this special uh, disposal account. Step four, we work out the profit or loss on the sale of the asset. And uh, you know, you need to be able to do this kind of calculation. You start off with the cost, less accumulated depreciation gives you the net book value, 24,200. Um, uh, and then we compare that to the profit from the sale of the car, or sorry, the proceeds from the sale of the car. If the proceeds are greater than the net book value, then you have a profit. If the proceeds are less than the net book value uh, on the balance sheet, then you have a loss on disposal. So the profit or loss on disposal is the difference between the sales proceeds and the net book value of the asset. The net book value of the asset is the cost of the asset less accumulated depreciation. So that's just to remind you there of the definition of net book value. This is what the T accounts look like for the disposal of an asset. And this account down here, this is the special disposal of car account. And as I said, the first thing we do is we credit the cost of car account here and we bring it down to uh, the disposal of car account. We debit the accumulated depreciation and bring that down here to the disposal account. And we debit the bank with the 25,000 we were receiving for the car. And um, uh, that uh, also goes into the disposal account. So on the credit side, we've got 25,000 plus 10,000 800, which is 35,800. On the debit side, we have 35,000. So if we balanced off the account now, we would end up with a credit balance of 800. And how would we know is that a profit or a loss? Well, if you remember back to our double entry uh, sessions uh, or videos, um, you could, uh, you will remember that debit items in the trial balance are uh, expenses or uh, assets, um, whereas credit items are um, revenue or gain items and also could be liabilities or equity. So this one is actually a gain, a profit item. And we can, um, uh, we will enter this into the um, income statement because it's a profit item as a plus item in the income statement. And you can see this is a CRH group. Uh, this is, you know, a similar item here, a profit on disposal of fixed assets showing up in uh, CRH's income statement from many moons ago. So when non-current assets are disposed of, we need to remove their costs from the statement of financial position. We need to remove their accumulated depreciation from the statement of financial position. And the difference between the sales proceeds and the net book value is recorded as a profit or loss in the income statement. And then we are done with disposing of the asset. It's gone out of the balance sheet and we have recorded whatever profit or loss we made on disposing of the item in the income statement and uh, that is the end of it. The asset is, is now gone uh, and done and dusted. Okay, thanks for watching.
Remember to like and subscribe if you found this content helpful. Bye.